Hello everybody, Sam here, engineer, MBA and investor. And in today's video, we are talking about Bluebird's latest news on them reaching a deal with Michigan's Medicaid. And I want to talk about all of that here in this video. But before we do that, please do like this video, subscribe. If you like this video, it pushes our videos back to people's home pages, people that have not subscribed to our channel. And I think with CRISPR taking a new leap in the last few months, specifically uh, since November slash December, I think it's worth for people to jump back in this space and really, you know, key, continuously educate themselves, whether that's about the technology, the companies, the stocks, you know, so much here going on in this space, so much to talk about. That said, I want to talk about here in this press release here. So this was uh, published a couple of uh, days ago, actually, at the beginning of uh, the week here, and it said uh, titled Bluebird announces first outcome based agreement with Medicaid for sickle cell disease gene therapy. And of course, Bluebird is, is a public company that have got in their program called uh, Lifgenia, right? Lifgenia is, I hope I'm pronouncing this right. I actually don't even know. Uh, Lifgenia is, uh, is of course, tackling sickle cell disease. They are not using CRISPR, but they're using their own technology. That's, we've talked many, many times this channel. I'm not even going to repeat it, but I'm just going to say really quickly that it's inferior to CRISPR's technology, but all data means, right? Hence why the FDA gave these, this company a black warning. I think that's how it's called back box warning or something like that basically saying um they gave them a basically a warning saying if something goes wrong we are putting that out on the market asap right without any um hesitation basically of course it's a lot more complicated than what i just mentioned but I'm just trying to dumb it down here so that we don't make uh we don't uh, diverge here from our actual video here so state of michigan coming with an agreement with this program and it looks like approximately 50% of individuals living with sickle cell disease in the U.S. are insured by Medicaid. So Medicaid, I, I'm not even American, to be honest. I don't even know all the things. I actually promised a couple of months ago. I remember actually my interview with um, with Ali there. I remember, um, I, remember I, I actually said that I would actually study in this space, and I have not studied it. So maybe uh, my airplane back... Um, going to Washington DC this Monday uh, I'm coming back on Friday but this uh, Thursday rather um, but maybe my plane from Toronto to DC maybe I'll read it up I mean it's a one hour ish flight so maybe I'll just read it up uh, like how does the insurance work and all of that I'm, I'm not familiar with it um, but 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 we can talk about this press release that says that Medicaid is insuring about 50% of individuals that do have sickle cell disease in the US and the Michigan state Looks like they gave the green light for this particular program using Medicaid, right? We we'll should take a look at maybe a uh, a quote from one of their leaderships. Our commercial approach is built on principle that people with sickle cell disease insured through Medicaid deserve the same timely access to gene therapy as patients on other forms of insurance. End of quote. And I quote: We are extremely pleased to have reached this agreement with Michigan. Medicaid and with the momentum behind a reimbursement negotiation across the board just months after approval, which underscores players' shared commitment to equitable access and understanding of the value of life Livginia can bring to people living with sickle cell disease, the caregivers, and the health care system. End of quote. Okay. And now Blue Verdict is actually an ongoing discussion with more than 15 Medicaid agencies representing 80% of Medicaid insurance insured individuals in the U.S. Additionally, Bluebird has signed multiple outcome-based agreements for Lefgenia with national commercial payer organization representing dozens of downstream plans and covering approximately 200 million U.S. lives. And... Yeah, this is uh, this is what this press release is all about. So now, you as the viewer, are like, well, okay, Hassan, why are you even talking about Bluebird? They're not doing CRISPR. What's the point here? 
Well, there's a lot to extract from this. First of all, it gives you an understanding of how the U.S. insurance works somewhat. Uh, talks about Medicaid, talks about Michigan Medicaid, talks about other states that they're working on. So clearly, it's, the, it's state by state. Clearly, they're uh, not all individuals are insured, but there's a significant amount of individuals that can qualify for programs like Live Virginia that are insured. And then you sort of extract all of that. You're like, okay, well, CRISPR Therapeutics and Vertex got in their program approved at the same time as Live Genia. Of course, I'm talking about Cas Jevi. So what's going on? Why they haven't got an agreement? So my understanding of the, has always been Bluebird's been a little bit ahead of the curve here. I don't know if it's because they started the program earlier. They're just quicker, they're just faster, who knows? Um, you got to remember, they don't have a partnership like CRISPR Therapeutics has with Vertex. You know, they're co-partnering it. Of course, one owns 60%, the other owns 40 so one is majority but owner. But still, it's still two companies with the same program as opposed to this one that has one company. So my, um, my understanding here is, and my prediction here, and it's an educated prediction based on what I've seen with Bluebird's um, past and how CRISPR Therapeutics and Vertex sort of followed that with the FDA and so on, is that I think the CRISPR Therapeutics and Vertex program um, will also have come into an agreement with Medicaid and so on. I mean, if Michigan approves it for Medicaid, of course, for this particular program that tackles sickle cell disease, there's absolutely no reason for them to not approve uh, CRISPR therapeutics and Vertex program, knowing that it's a superior technology, knowing that also it's cheaper, uh, rather cost more cost effective. People have to understand Bluebird is actually more expensive. That Lift Genia program is significantly more expensive than um, Vertex and CRISPR therapeutics by at least, I think it's like 400 or 600 million dollars difference. Um, oh, sorry, 600, uh, $400,000 to $600,000 different, which is significant. You can't, as an insurance organization, you can't dis disregard that. You have to look into that. So to me, I think this is just a foreshadowing of what uh, CRISPR Therapeutics and Vertex program will also have here approved, in my educated opinion. Again, I don't have inside information. This is all an opinion based on educational information and my experience in this space, and I think the CRISPR Therapeutics and Vertex will have their program as well approved by these Medicaid uh, associations such as the Michigan one. And um, if there's if this company's a discussion with 15 other Medicaid agencies, then I also think, uh, you know, I also think Cash Javai will also be in those discussions. At least that's my prediction. We have not heard anything back. I mean, again, you got to remember, I think, CRISPR Therapeutics Vertex, they're more focused on the global approach, getting certain countries approved. They already got a bunch of countries approved. US, Europe was a big one, UK, Saudi, Bahrain. Uh, they're working on Swiss, Switzerland. They're working on Canada. We're looking at Australia. They're looking at other regions around the world. We haven't even talked about Africa and, and Asia yet. I mean, these are significant countries that also have significant amount of populations of sickle cell disease, but of course they have to start somewhere, they have to develop their business case, they have to commercialize it, there was a process to that. You know, if there was a way for them to flick a finger and make it all happen in a way, believe me, they would have done it, but they cannot, they have to go through regulations. I mean, that's why this space is extremely hard to crack into, and that's why I'm sort of bullish on companies like CRISPR Therapeutics, because once they're in it, they're in it. I mean, this is something that's gonna yield for years and years to come with billions of dollars of revenues, in my opinion, and of course, curing patients, um, that's just gonna have an impact that you know no other company has ever had in, with certain diseases, such as sickle cell disease and beta thalassemia. So, going on a tangent here, but I wanted to look at that press release because there's something you can extract from that and sort of predict the trajectory of Cast Javi on its own, looking at what Bluebird's doing with their own program that again is tackling sickle cell disease. So I'll end this video like this. As always, subscribe if you're not, like this video, like I mentioned at the beginning of this video. Let me know in the comments below, guys. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this is gonna happen with Cast Javi? Do you guys think I'm reading too much into it? Let me know in the comments. I'll see you guys in the next video tomorrow. Happy St. Patrick's Day tomorrow. Thank you. Guys.